Leo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, we feel like right now, like this is the true test you're walking through because this is the end of a chapter. And the end of a chapter uh, transitioning into a new one is kind of where we can um, have a hard time with uh, with this the most, energetically speaking, with us, with us, with, with, with us empaths. So if you're finding that you're, you know, you want to make all these changes, you want your life to move into this, but you're just having a hard time navigating between, you know, what choices to make and how much attention to put into one thing and what have you, and it ends up just creating a lot of resistance, uh, the name of the game is always this, right? There's always a step-by-step -step process, okay? There's always a step-by-step -step process. And so energetically, when you say yes to something, but you don't care that much, you're giving up your energy to be able to put towards something that you actually will care about. That's why it's so important for you to really become clear about when you think about something or act on something, behave in a way. When you behave, act, or think about something, is it giving you that feeling of inspiration, of hell yes, of this is it, right? Because that's what you want to be looking for. That's that feeling. Now, you may have to spend time in a sanctuary away from the world to achieve this, to understand what that feels like for you in your energy body. Because if you're immersed in a very busy life and a very busy lifestyle with a lot of thoughts and a lot of moving parts and a lot of people, that, that voice will get lost. It will get lost amongst all the energy you're absorbing and thinking about and feeling. It just won't happen for you. And that's generally what happens is we are disconnected from our guidance system. And then we are not understanding where we want to place our focus. Legit, where we want to place our focus. Not like, you know, I think I should be doing this. And I think I should do this. And if I did this, I'll make this money. Nah, beautiful soul, half the time it's not like that. You know what you need to do, but it's so lost in the noise of life that we don't really ever apply the, the focus uh, of, and our power into what it is we actually care about. And that's why we have a lot of wobble in our lives because we're saying like yes to friends and like yes to foods and like yes to like, you know, other things, hoping and thinking and praying that it's going to get us to where we want to go in life and it never does. There's always going to be something that matters more for you and we want you to decode that for yourself. Spend time with yourself in sanctuary. Get away from the world for a little while because what that will do is it allow you to again be present in your energy and really connect to the love that you feel when you put your attention into something. And that's what we want you to focus on because that's going to be how you clear up this energy blockage of resistance moving forward, right? You're, you're going to have to prioritize because look at it like this, right? Whenever you want your life to move forward, it's really, <clears throat> pardon me, about just time in the saddle, right? So it's the more time you put your focus into a certain thing, the easier it's going to get, the better it's going to become, and the more acclimated you will be to that environment. So it's like if you wanted to like say make body changes and you wanted to like lose weight and feel amazing, right? clear energy, feel more connected to your spirit, right? That all, it all boils down to our body. So at the end of the day, if you spend time focusing on what you consume, uh, exercising your body in a healthy way, productive way, right? Then what's going to happen is you're going to see the results of it. But if you are like, you know, uh, three times a week, you go to the gym, you know, you're kind of, you're pretty good with meal prep, but you, you don't really prep all the time. You get food out, you know, you say yes to the sugary drinks still, you know, like if it's like a wobble, if it's like 50, 50, it won't get you the results you're looking for, you see, and you're going to feel like something is wrong. And when you feel like something is wrong because of your energy, it's going to result in you efforting somewhere else. So if you say, for instance, know that you are not taking care of your body physically properly the way that you know you are meant to and you want to right to connect and to feel your best then that feeling 
of, of not, of not doing those things you want to do is going to leak into say your career. And then you're, you're going to look at your job and be like, I don't like what I'm doing. I need to make more money, but it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with how you feel inside you see. So it's about decoding. What is it in your life that you're making decisions on that just don't feel like it's part of your purpose or your plan? And we want you to really determine and discern what that is for yourself right now, because there's a major plan implemented here right now that is leading you towards your greatest desires and new beginnings. And this is what's coming in for you now is beautiful new opportunities of abundance and joy and love. And it's going to come when you are real with yourself and you say enough wobble enough tolerating this 50 50. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to do it. You got to commit to yourself. You got to commit to your path. You got to get commit to your plan. Don't worry about messing up or fear, fear of failure. A lot of times we're like, I don't know. We're like half committed because we don't want to, we don't want to lose. So then we're like, well, if I don't do it my fullest, then I have an excuse. You know what I mean? It's like that little devil voice inside of us. We want you to remove that voice from your awareness. And that will come when you spend time with yourself because you can never hide from your true knowing, right? You can't hide energetically. You can't try to, you can't hide from it. Right? So we want you to connect to, uh, to yourself in stillness so that you can reconnect to the energy of passion and joy. Because remember, your natural state is abundance. So you don't have to try to be abundant. The only reason why some beings are more abundant than the others is just from what they allow in, right? So it's about allowance right now, right? And true allowance comes when we are um, not uh, not focusing on the external world. Oh, well, I'll be better when like this happens. Well, I'll be better when like I move out of my house. Well, things will get better when, you know, um, you know I, I quit my job. Never, it never will. It'll be, you'll take that same energy that you're holding in your, in your body right now. And it will just be carried over into that new job or that, that new life. You see that new house. So it will never change. It will always be the same. So that's why it's important to really make sure that you are living a life in the way that you want to right now today, right? So that you feel that sense of freedom right now, because that's going to be what attracts in the freedom that you desire most, you see. So again, we just want to remind you, your natural state is, is rich and abundant. So write this down in the comments below. Remind yourself, I am rich and abundant. I am rich and abundant. I am rich and abundant. Don't you dare look up at your external world and try to brainwash yourself saying, no, I'm not. I'm not rich and abundant. Look at all these things I do not have. Don't you dare do that to yourself. See, that's the reason why some beings are more uh, abundant than others is because it's about purpose. It's about really being aligned with what you're intending to do, right? So again, like my intention right now is to learn day trading. So I wake up early and I learn, I study the charts in the morning time. And then I make sure that I prioritize not overeating at night. So then I have time to study the charts in the evening time. That's it, right? It's just time. You just got to remain consistent with what it is that you want to do. And that means that you can't fall off purpose. Otherwise you're going to overeat. You're going to, you know, overthink, you're going to worry, you're going to do things you don't want to do. It's going to be a lot of energy being given into things that just don't really matter. You see, and that's kind of what we're picking up here again with another death in reverse card, just that resistance to the future. Right. And, and feeling, you know, it's time to feel, uh, get ambitious and feel excited about the future and move towards it, move towards it with confidence that Whatever you feel gu guided and called to do, that is going to be what is that is, is going to be your path, right? And in the meantime, just be mindful about every choice you make. Does it help you be the best version of yourself on your path? You see what I mean? That's why the foods I consume and the things that I eat are always beneficial for my best progress, right? My most, my, my, my best self to show up for reading, for studying the charts, uh, for reading, um, for being a, uh, uh, the best wife to my husband. You see everything I do has an intention to serve. You know what I mean? So try to have that mindset of service and it will kind of put the puzzle pieces all together. Now your angel message for today is steady progress. Your angels love you so much. So they just want to remind you here. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. So you keep following your joy. You keep following your bliss and just know that as you continue to put attention and energy into the subjects, the topics, the thoughts that bring you joy, 
that leave you feeling proud of yourself, that leave you feeling satisfied, the more you spend time focusing into that energy, that's what will, how your life will bloom into. And re just remember, it's really not an overnight process and everything will happen in stages or cycles, right? So everything has a right place and time. So if you're feeling like you're missing out on something, but you're just not called to do it and you're forcing it, maybe let that energy go. Dial in what you're called to do in this particular cycle because you'll be guided forward as the, when the timing is right. But energetically, energetically, in your energy body, if you are not ready for more, more will not be brought forth. And that's why the number one focus you always want to have is how is my energy body feeling? Right? Am I taking care of my health? Am I taking care of my power, my energy? Or am I giving it to worries and concerns and consumption when, you know, when, when I'm, when I'm just because I'm off purpose, right? Realign with your purpose, tighten everything up, reclaim your power back, and then you let spirit know I'm ready for more. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.